This is Robert Kraft, and we're coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference 2019 in New York. With me right now is Dr. Ralph Kern from Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is BCLI. Dr. Kern, welcome to SNN Live. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to, pleasure to have you on. So for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Sure. Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics is a biotechnology company focused on developing cell therapies for neurodegenerative disease. So let's get a history of the company. When did you start and how did the company develop to where you're currently at today? So the company's been uh, in operation for over 10 years. Uh, we have been developing the technology platform for that period of time. It's licensed from Tel Aviv University. And uh, we're in uh, our eighth year of clinical trials. Uh, we're, our lead program is in ALS, and this is our fourth clinical trial. So what about Brainstorm's technology platform is different than some of, the peer, some of your peers that are working on similar technology platforms? Sure. So we, uh, we, have, we use autologous cells, which are from the patient themselves. Uh, so we avoid uh, the immune um, issues with uh, other people's cells. The cells are cryopreserved, and that way uh, bone marrow aspirate, which is the source of the cells, can produce up to three years of treatment. The technology is unique in that we uh, leverage the immunomodulatory properties of mesenchymal stem cells and we convince the cells to produce high levels of neurotrophic factors, which are survival and support factors for neurodegenerative disease. So you said you've, you're on your eighth year of uh, clinical trials for some of your pipelines. You know, where are we at in your clinical development? Our lead program is in ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. And currently there are 30,000 individuals with Lou Gehrig's disease in the U.S., 6,000 new cases a year. We're in our phase three program, which is the final program before approval. Uh, it's a 200 patient clinical trial that is randomized one to one with placebo. It's a one year trial and we expect to finish enrollment in the middle of this year and have top line data in the middle of next year. So is your solution go with standard of care or is it something that a patient would take outside of standard of care? So our solution is a disease modifying treatment. We hope to alter the course of ALS. It doesn't preclude the use of symptomatic treatments, which, uh, which can help with some of the symptoms of ALS. So this is uh, a unique approach, delivering the cells directly into the spinal fluid to try to slow or modify the course of the disease. And for those who may not know, ALS is still considered an orphan disease, correct? Correct. So with 30,000 individuals in the U.S., it classifies uh, as an orphan disease. We have orphan designation in the U.S. We have orphan designation in uh, Europe. And we also have fast-track designation in the U.S. So by saying altering the outcome of the disease, what, can you clarify what does that mean? Yeah, so what we mean is that uh, a ALS, for example, has uh, a rate of decline of about a point per month on the standard ALS uh, functional rating scale. And we hope to uh, stabilize or improve um, some of the uh, decline so that um, a year later, a significant number of treated uh, patients will either be uh, better or the same or have a reduced rate of decline. And what's your background? I mean, how did you come into all this? I'm a neurologist. I originally was uh, an ALS doctor and uh, did neuroscience and ALS and academic medicine. And uh, then I, I changed careers and went into the biotechnology industry, mostly launching uh, treatments for uh, rare genetic diseases and multiple sclerosis, but also other neuroscience projects. And I joined Brainstorm two years ago because the, the possibility of using cell therapies to treat neurodegenerative diseases was very compelling. And, uh, and I think that we have uh, a really good chance to be successful um, in altering uh, the history of, of neurodegenerative disease. F uh, to this day, there hasn't been an effective therapy that we're aware of. And from what you can tell us, what are some of the company's growth drivers now moving forward? I think our growth drivers are completing enrollment in our phase three program, starting our MS program, which will uh, hopefully enroll uh, patients uh, in this quarter. Uh, that's our plan. Uh, 
the other the other drivers obviously would be uh, our preclinical platform in other neurodegenerative diseases, which we hope to complete some important uh, uh, projects uh, in the next few months and look at, uh, after MS, what our next indication would be. And Dr. Kern, where can our audience go and find more information about Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics? Yeah, I think the best place is on our website, www.brainstorm-cell.com. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference 2019 in New York. With me again has been Dr. Ralph Kern from Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is BCLI. Dr. Kern, thank you again for joining me today. Thank you for having us.